in fact so. Um, so let's start with a little bit of side bend, just a little, just a light side bend to the right, left hand on the ribs, and um, begin to work kind of like with a krama, like a little sip of breath in and expand, and I'm going to ask you to really stretch um, into the ribs, like separate them a bit, and then inhale and expand and stretch a little bit more, and then exhale and contract and really actively engage. There's muscles in there, right? The intercostal muscles. So contract and pull them in and pull them in, pull the diaphragm in. Like really get as much lateral movement as you can. You can do a two-part krama or a three-part krama, depending on how loose or tight it feels over here. But doing that little bit at a time, expansion and actively opening, creating more length, more space, more width, right? Side, this is, it's not, we're not cardboard, right? So we're, we're three-dimensional. So when I say the side, I don't mean just like the seam, like a seam of a shirt, but I'm really talking about the whole width of the side, the front side, the side side, and the back side, as I call it. Okay, good. So then let's have you bring your fingers up to your, um, your shoulder, let them rest there. And now same thing, but you're gonna do a little krama with the elbow lifting to activate. And I'm using my hand on the floor to give a little press up. So I'm actually lifting and opening, activating more stretch, more stretch, more space on the side, on the in-breath, and then krama exhale, actively contracting. Like it's not just the elbow coming down, but the shoulder coming towards the hip. So the space shortens. Lengthening gradually, gradually, gradually with the breath and contracting, 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 contracting with the breath. A few times like that. In, 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 and out, out, out. Out. Abdominals are engaged, right? So this next time as you come in, lift, and then we're going to work with this. Just stay here and exhale, and then inhale and do a little push forward so that you're getting more into the back side of the ribs, pressing forward and expanding like you're trying to blow out and open up that whole left for you quadrant of the lower mid rib cage and then pull back 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 and contract go back far enough that you feel a tightening on that back side okay so i would suggest not dropping the elbow down but pushing it forward because that'll give you more space and opening and you're looking for the space directionally reaching with the elbow in order to open into that side, back side. And then as you come back, pull the elbow back, tuck the wing of the shoulder blade in and contract a little bit. So it's a little P and F, we're doing a little contraction so that when you come into the stretch, there's a little more willingness to open and open and open. So there's a, just a slight thoracic rotation not like a big twist. My fingers are propped on the floor like this and I'm using my right hand to help with that pivot. Help me to access that area. Good. And then come into the full arm side bend, extend over and then contract down. Again, it's not how far can you reach with your fingers, right? It's how wide, broad, long, can you lift and expand the rib cage? So I'm really, my forearm is more just an accessory. I'm actively opening into the side and actively contracting down into the side, lifting my left hip even to bring my elbow towards the hip and the hip towards the elbow. Good, and then release and come to center. Close your eyes, feel 
And just notice as you breathe how your left side feels relative to your right side and relative to how it felt before, what you're aware of. <laughs> More space, good. 